Anna was coming onto the movie, it was a relief because uh, she's just so wonderful at what she does and brings so much warmth and joy and hilarity, but also a sensitivity and a sweetness. And, and um, you know, this film wouldn't work if the sisters didn't have this love for each other and this desperate kind of mission that they're on. So it was really important, you know, how these, how these two characters kind of work together and and honestly it was so easy and so natural i don't feel like we had we didn't had no rehearsal time we just were thrown into it really i just clung on to her it was just like, it was how much can i touch her how much can i bother her like i, I mean, love it love me oh god my whole family is insane insane no i you know i think that this particular desperation for this kind of money, I mean, first of all, my family never had, so there was definitely a lot of arguments over money, but uh, not this much and <laughs> not worth going into right now. But uh, I don't know, Tony, what about, like, did you, I, it felt, it, the script felt so well written that it felt very clear um, who yeah. we all were. We were all very distinct and that is to to our our writer director's credit for sure um i love playing a character that just wears jeans and t-shirts and doesn't like you has know, no filter has no filter like it felt great it felt like we got to um we got to just play like there were so many days where it felt like this were like just a bunch of cool actors getting to play and I loved, um, I was really, this was the only time that's happened to me. I was really sad um, on our last day of shooting. I was, I felt like this has been such a special project to me um, because of what kind of where I was. Anyway, I'm going on, but um, yeah, I think that it, it felt like we all, all our shoes fit. Yeah, there are very few that my kids can see. I'm I do much more black. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? You're a little more relaxed. I relax, should relax. I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be. Apparently, my son said the other day to an. He said it to the television, I guess, but in front of some kids, he said, "Suck my balls." I wasn't witness to it. It was the, another parent. It is awesome. I mean, I. But you know, we're lucky to have resource. But I love having a ten-year-old boy. He is hysterical, and um, and I, I I feel like I'm a child myself. So maybe he's just raising himself. So we'll see how that goes, how he turns out. But um, no, I'm just I'm crazy about him. He's I can't wait to grab him every day. <laughs> <laughs>